dear students today we are going to see problems on queuing theory model 2 do you remember in model 1 we did m slash m slash 1 infinity fifo that means my system capacity is infinity in today's session we are going to see problems on finite system capacity with first in first out so those who don't see the basics go and watch the video which is available in the description learning the formula come back here we can see the let us go into the problem patients arrive in a clinic according to poisson distribution this is usual arrival rate is poisson then service rate is exponential 30 patients per hour so it is very clear per hour means lambda so 30 patients per hour then the waiting room does not accommodate more than 14 patients so this indicates that the problem has finite capacity so in the waiting room only 14 people can be accommodated since it is a single server model then one people is getting service so 14 plus 1 15 people are going to be in the system so the examination time per patient is exponential with 20 per hour so my service rate is 20 per hour so it is very clear in the first model they will not speaking about anything related to the waiting room or all these things here you see the waiting room says that it accommodate not more than 14 patients so it is going to be finite capacity m slash m slash 1 fifo model okay done now let us go into the problem what they are asking find the effective arrival rate of the clinic what is the probability of that the patient will arriving what is the probability that an arriving patient will not wait what is the expected waiting time okay let us do one by one as i said arrival rate follows poisson service rate follows exponential distribution number of service channels is one because it is fixed so that means here it is going to be m slash m slash 1 according to kindles notation so now as i discussed earlier 14 people are waiting and then one people are in the service my system capacity k is going to be totally 15 and it follows fifo so i uh, we have to write clearly m slash m slash 1 finite server fifo model okay sometime people say it as first come first serve both are same so we have to write the model very clear so instead of k i have to write the value of k so since the arrival rate is 30 patients per hour so i say lambda is equal to 30 per hour then the service rate is going to be mu that is going to be 20 per hour so the important thing here is lambda not equal to mu so in the problems uh, we are going to use this row in the formula i simply said lambda by mu but uh, when you write it will be little tough to remember so better you can remember rho rho is common we used the utilization factor in the basics also we see about rho so instead of using lambda by mu i am going to use rho so rho is going to be lambda by mu that is 3 by 2 or 1.5 we can keep it as rho so in the problem point of view instead of lambda by mu wherever it comes i am going to use this as rho but you have to mention this initially in the problem otherwise people will not consider people will make a question what is rho when they evaluate your paper okay so now we need p not so the formula for p not is usually we write 1 minus lambda by mu divided by lambda by mu whole power k plus 1 so here for simplicity i am simply taking 1 minus rho 1 minus rho power k plus 1 so we know the rho value once we substitute we get p not is equal to this in calculator we can put four decimal round off that is also good so now we have to find the first question effective arrival rate lambda dash is equal to mu into 1 minus p not p not is ready mu is the service rate that is 20 per hour so when you substitute this you will be getting the same answer so now the lambda dash is also when you round off it is going to be 20 per hour that is effective arrival rate is 20 per hour the next one is what is the probability of arriving patient will not wait 
so what is the meaning of it? when the patient is coming he don't want to wait when he don't want to wait when the system is idle pn means system with n customers p not means system with zero customer that means probability of idle system so it is going to be very simple again it is p not i can write the answer from the basic data which we have done in the problem the next final one is expecting waiting time until a patient is discharged from the clinic so what is the meaning of this ws ws means waiting time in the system expected waiting time until a patient is discharged so a patient is coming inside he will be sitting in the waiting room right then the waiting time is wq after the waiting time the patient will go into the doctor room for checking his health condition so the waiting time plus the service time is going to be my waiting time in the system so ws formula we know simply ls by lambda dash so also we know ls formula what is ls formula do you remember since the problem is lambda not equal to mu if lambda equal to mu that is different so when lambda not equal to mu it is going to be lambda by mu divided by 1 minus lambda by mu minus k plus 1 into lambda by mu whole power k plus 1 divided by lambda by mu whole power k plus 1 since uh, some students have requested sir the formula looks very big uh, we have scared to remember all these things so what we did for simplicity i am not going to use lambda by mu i am going to simply use rho the utilization factor now the formula is very simple to remember rho divided by 1 minus rho k plus 1 times rho power k plus 1 1 minus rho power k plus 1 so now we know rho just substitute the value of rho in the formula and we know k also k is going to be 15 and my rho is going to be the utilization factor we know that rho is equal to 1.5 that is 3 by 2 so just substitute it and you get the value so nothing big here student don't need to scare or don't need to get tension it is very easy things is you have to remember the formula for ws ls wq lq and lambda dash then capital p naught and p n if you remember this formula just read the question with patient one or two times you will get the clear idea what is happening there what we should need then just substitute it go ahead finish the problem so now substitute the value use your calculator and then find the value it need not to be in fraction okay i am writing in fraction you can go for decimals so the waiting hour is 0. 65 in the whole system so a patient is coming into the system you have to spend 0.65 hours for waiting as well as for the service in total so if you want you can convert into minutes if the question is asked you in the minute or you can leave it in the hours that's it students that's it students so the problem is going to be very easy important thing is how you remember the formula and how you identify the question and substituting the correct formula. Thank you. We will meet in the next problem.